Hi, I'm Jack and welcome back because today I'm going to give you guys a review for the newest film by Joseph Kaczynski that I dropped on Netflix that I'm late to the party for. So now I'm giving you guys the review for this. Spiderhead. It stars Chris Hemsworth, Miles Teller, Journey Smollett, and many more. And with that said, let's get started. Spiderhead follows two inmates played by Miles Teller and Journey Smollett as they form a connection with one another while dealing with their past to what led them to this moment. However, as they are volunteers at a state-of-the-art penitentiary run by a brilliant visionary played by Chris Hemsworth, they are experimented on with mind-altering drugs. I'm very late to the party on this one, but nevertheless, I finally got around to watching Spiderhead a few days ago as the summer starts to wrap up. And if you know me, I think Tron Legacy is one of the most underrated movies of the past decade. And I love Top Gun Maverick, one of my all-time favorite movies of the year, if you don't know that about me. So with this movie, I was interested in seeing it for myself and seeing the premise and this other movie that he has made that came out on Netflix just weeks after Top Gun Maverick came out in theaters. So now that I watched it, I was pretty let down by Spiderhead. You've got a good, talented cast and crew assembled for this movie with the writers of Deadpool and the director of Top Gun Maverick. And it just felt very generic, long, and it just did not capitalize on its potential because there was so much potential for Spiderhead to be a super great thriller, but it just wasn't. And to kick things off the positives, I think... The cast is really good. Chris Hemsworth very much plays against type in this movie. It really reminds me of Chris Evans in The Gray Man, where he's playing characters that aren't like Steve Rogers. And that's what happened here. He plays a character that's very much not like characters you've seen from him before, whether it's his Thor, whether it's from Rush. He plays a very different character here, and I really like him a lot, especially as he's not speaking in his normal accent. He's speaking like he's an American and he was so great here. His character is very interesting, and I wanted more of him because I think Chris Hemsworth is so good in this movie as Steve, and he is such a great character, and he really brings the performance and the layers and the complexity to his character of what's his goal, what's he trying to succeed at here, and how he plays off with Miles Teller and all these other characters here. I really like him a lot in this movie, and Miles Teller, working with Joseph Kaczynski once again after Top Gun Maverick, Really good here. I think that although his character isn't quite as interesting as Chris Hemsworth's character, I still think Miles Teller was able to do a good job at making me care for his character. He does a good job at playing this character with the emotional weight and so as all these things that's happened to him and just the situation he's into. Journey Smollett's good, although she doesn't do as much in this movie as the other two lead actors, but I thought she was good nonetheless, and I really liked her as Black Canary and Birds of Prey, and I would love a spinoff of her as Black Canary. Do it. But nevertheless, you have a good cast here, and just like what I imagined with Joseph Kaczynski, it's a very well shot movie. The visuals are really great. I love the production value that's put into this movie. It feels very dystopian and futuristic, especially with how the interior of Spiderhead is designed. It feels very nice to look at, and it's well shot for me to see what's in focus, what am I supposed to pay attention to. So in terms of what you see on screen, it's very competently made. And the film has a cool soundtrack that really fits the scene that's playing, especially with the context. It really, it's cool. There's some cool songs here that really fit the tone and vibe of this movie, and it's used at a good time. And that's it as far as positives go, because this movie pretty much disappointed me. First thing I have to say is the pacing, way too slow at points. The runtime was way too long for its own good. It's only an hour and 47 minutes. It felt like two and a half hours to me, and it could have just been trimmed to make things flow a lot faster and smoother. And I wanted more from Journey Smollett and Chris Hemsworth's characters, because in terms of development, we could have gotten a lot more out of them to just some of the more basic stuff we got out of them because they do give a lot of work in terms of character development for Miles Teller. And I wanted that same energy for the other two characters. And the tone was just all over the place. You have moments where something dramatic and drastic occurred and it was wild. And then seconds later, you have a much more lighthearted scene where characters are having fun and it just felt odd. And it feels like it just, the movie doesn't know what kind of tone it was going for, whether it wants to be something like Black Mirror or Ex Machina, or if it wanted to be like a witty sci-fi thriller. And then not only do you have that too, but the third act is so generic that 
it plays out in the ways you imagined it to. Like before the climax happened, I imagine this is what's going to happen to the characters. And that's pretty much what happened when I watched the movie by the end. And it never pulls twists and turns where it's like, I did not see this coming or it builds to something exciting. It just plays out exactly how you imagine it to. And considering who's behind this movie, that's disappointing to see because you got people who've made some really great movies. This one just wasn't up there in terms of that regard. And so it's disappointing. There are moments I enjoyed and I was entertained by. It's not an unwatchable movie. It's certainly not a movie that I dread watching, but I expected a lot more out of Spiderhead. You have a great cast with great performances, beautiful visuals and cinematography work and a very intriguing story idea but the execution just was not there you have an inconsistent tone and the third act just felt very generic and weak and i really expected a lot more out of this movie it could have been really great but it just falls very flat in terms of potential so in the end i'm going to give spiderhead a c plus it's not a bad movie. It's not my least favorite movie I've seen all year, but it's crazy how Joseph Kaczynski, in the span of three weeks, made one of my all-time favorite movies of the year with Top Gun Maverick, and then one of my least favorite movies of the year with Spiderhead, although it's not my number one. There's still some entertaining moments I enjoy. There's a great concept here, some great performances, especially by Chris Hemsworth and Miles Teller, and you had some really good moments with some great visuals and cinematography work. I just wanted a much more consistent story and I really wish they explored some aspects of it a lot more than they did. And I wish they had a better third act to really shake things up and make things surprising. It's disappointing. I wanted more out of this and this is just the Netflix movie that I've watched that I'm probably not going to remember over the next few days. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Spiderhead. What are your thoughts on this movie? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And stay tuned. I have a review for The Bubble, another movie I was late to the party on coming soon. Oh boy, that's going to be a fun time. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that. And don't forget to follow me on social media. My username is down below at the bottom of the screen and in the description below. So please go do that while you're at it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. And stay tuned for more.